Hi, I'm Dana, and today I'd like to share what sold this past weekend, which was December 17th and 18th, I think, and also some uh, Friday night and Monday morning sales as well. Um, so I'll go ahead and start with eBay sales. And um, this first one is the suede jacket. The brand is called Overland, and it has this really great front collar area with sort of like a, a ruffle detail all the way down to the front. Very soft suede in this really pretty sort of dove gray color. And let's see. The title for this item is Overland Women's Suede Jacket Large L gray ruffled boho hippie retro lined and it took about i would say about a week and a half to sell it sold for forty dollars on ebay um and it was actually an organic search sale so that means that someone was looking for um this type of item and my item popped up in their search so they were able to purchase it. Um, and I've been just kind of tracking what kind of sale it is. Uh, I don't know, just out of sort of curiosity on my part. And I think kind of what that helps me, you know, determine just that, you know, my, my titles are, are pretty good. They're searchable. Also, it determines that this type of item is something that people are, you know, actively looking for. So, <clears throat> kind of good for me to know. So, I found this item at the Goodwill bins or the Goodwill outlet, and that's where I do pretty much all my sourcing. And my Goodwill bins charges $1.79 per pound. So this item probably weighs, this item probably weighs like maybe a pound and a half, maybe a little short of a pound and a half. <clears throat> and, um, but what I usually do is, uh, I sort of, average out the costs of each item to be about a dollar fifty because I pick up different weighted items and then um, I just you know count out how many items I bought and then I divide it by you know the pound so um, it kind of comes out to that so I will definitely pick up I'm going to put an extra piece of paper inside just to keep it from moving around in the box. So I like to pick up suede leather items, jackets, coats when I'm at the bins. And I just, I just noticed that, you know, leather and suede tends to move pretty well for me. Okay, so next item is this Lululemon scuba hoodie jacket. Here, this jacket was actually kind of in um, a little bit rough condition, but I went ahead and picked it up anyways, because, um, even though it was kind of in rough condition, um, there were some s sort of stains on it, and I thought maybe I could bleach, use bleach and bleach out the stains. And for the most part, I got quite a few of the stains out. So, you know, and it, it ended up being pretty bright white, which, you know, I think is 
good. So I did disclose in the um, in the listing that it was in you know rough rougher condition. So you know, hopefully the buyer you know read that in the description. So, um, but I do offer uh, free returns. So, you know, if the buyer did miss that information, they can still, re you know, get their money back. So, let's see. So, the title for this one was, let's see, Lululemon Women's Scuba Hoodie Jacket, size 8, white, active wear, thick, well-loved. <laughs> so, that's the title. Um, and let's see, it took, actually it only took a day to sell and I listed it for $18 and it sold for 18. So, um, you know, the, I listed it pretty low just because it, you know, was in, not in great condition. So, um, you know, happy that this sold and I'm, you know, hoping that the buyer really loves this item. I just felt like, I felt like this jacket had more, you know, more time. Like, there was more wear in it, so hopefully they, they love it. It is risky to pick up white items at the bin, so, um, but I did see that it was in rough condition when I uh, picked it up and you know so I decided to just go ahead and take a chance on it let's see so this one I'm gonna see if it fits in this padded flat rate envelope and I think it will there it goes A lot of my uh, shipping supplies off of USPS.com, um, the post post office um, website, and so you can order these stickers, priority mail stickers. Uh, and they are free. And supplies that you order on the website um, can be delivered to your doorstep. So it's really, really convenient. Also, this padded flat rate envelope, as well as other envelopes and boxes, can also be um, ordered and delivered to you. So, okay, so that's that. Okay. So, another Lululemon white, white item is this new with tags. Lulu Lemon tennis dress, and there it is. It's just a really awesome item. It you know new with tags here. Um, got this at the bins, and actually um, one of the resellers, John John, um, he handed this item over to me and he was like you know did you want this piece Dana and I'm like yeah sure if, if you're not gonna sell it and he's like yeah it's fine so um, yeah thank you John John for this item let's see this item is titled Lululemon Court Crush Tennis Dress Women's 10 white new with tags and Court Crush was able to look up the um, style name for this item and you know add it to the listing so 
Let's see. So this weekend, um, I had, I actually had a good amount of sales this weekend. Um, ended up having, <coughs> let's see, 10 eBay sales and, <coughs> excuse me, um, 12, I think it's 12 Poshmark sales. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, um, a good sales weekend for, for me. Um, I did get, you know, a bunch of sales on Friday, like after I um, had my Friday pickup. So once I had my Friday shipment out, um, I got some more sales on Friday evening. And also, I think I might have gotten one or two sales um, this Monday morning. So, and I, um, so my daughter, my oldest daughter, Kelsey, she had a um, work function here, like kind of like a little um, work party here at the house. So I wasn't able to, um, I was thinking I might not be able to shoot this video just because, you know, I didn't want to um, be videotaping during her her party so uh, but you know most everybody left and there's just one person here you know working so um, just decided to hopefully quickly <laughs> shoot this video as, as quick as I can um, and um, you know hopefully I won't miss the post my mail carrier so this yeah but um let's see okay so next item is uh this mary it's uniqlo and mary mecco collaboration um this sweater it's really an interesting lovely pattern and you know color scheme um this one is what is it uh title is mary mecco uniqlo women's wool blend mock neck pullover sweater small s brown and it took a day to sell it sold for 24 dollars, which was my asking price so this was um a really great well <laughs> it is a very it's a very good sale and the reason it's very good is 24 is you know a good sale price but it sold in a day so since it sold very very quickly um, you know it's in and out of my inventory system and I really like that because I didn't need to store it um, it's easy to find um, it's out of my inventory quickly, so I'm able to bring in new items easily without my uh, inventory growing, which I like. Because I can't have a very big um, store or closet because I have you know very limited space. I work out of my uh, extra an extra bedroom. And because of that, you know, and I'm not interested in um, renting out a bigger space or anything like that. So um, to me, it's pretty important that you know I'm able to not um, I'm able to move my items. And, and not store them for very long. Especially because, you know, I am, I list every day uh, seven items. And if I don't sell items, then my, my store will grow. So I need to turn over my items. And so I've been kind of, I guess I've been, 
you know, close to selling maybe five to seven items a day. So that's been good, you know, as an average. Uh, let's see, let me just put this here. So, yeah, so turnover is really important to me. Okay, let's see. Next item. Oh, I'm sorry about this one. Is, that I'm going to ship out is this J. Jill sweater. And this really pretty soft pink color. It has a cowl neck and um, it's almost like a boucle um, texture or knit. Uh, very, very soft, cozy, comfy. Um, a, it's a longer length, so like a tunic style. It would be great to wear, you know, over some leggings some boots, um, can even wear it over, you know, like a long skirt or even some wide leg pants would be really cute too. Um, let's see, this one, where is it? Uh, title is J. Jill Women's Sweater Extra Large XL Light Pink Boucle Knit Cowl Neck Tunic Soft. And it took about a week to sell. Um, and it sold for $21.75. So that one was, I think it might have been an offer uh, to watchers. I'm pretty sure. So. This one sold fairly quickly and, you know, for a good, good price. Um, you know, I've been picking up a lot of sweaters and, um, I think when I checked my eBay sales uh, listing report, I think my highest selling um, category is, is sweaters. And so it's something that I like to sell during, um, you know, this time of year, um, during Q4 season. So. Sweaters are something that I, you know, find pretty easily at the bins um, where I live. I'm in um, the Bay Area, East Bay, um, in Northern California, and so you know our weather here is kind of considered mild weather, but we do, you know, it does dip down into the the 30s and 40s. So definitely have seasonal um, items, you know, where I source. And we also have, um, we're also not far from like the snow and um, ski resorts and things like in um, Lake Tahoe area. So um, because of that, we also get, you know, wind, very cold weather, um, active wear, outdoor wear. Um, so I do like to pick up those items as well. Okay, but uh, anyways, this one's not really snow wear, but <laughs> it's a Tommy Bahama uh, button-up shirt. It's long sleeve silk shirt in, I guess it's kind of like a beige color. 
and it has a very subtle sort of um, plaid woven texture on it or pattern. Let's see. So this one is titled Tommy Bahama Men's Silk Shirt Large L Beige Long Sleeve Buttoned. Um, it did take a little while to sell. Um, I would say about oh two months to sell. So this one sold for $15 and it was an organic search sale. So happy that this item selling. Just checking the color here. Okay. Let's see. I do like to pick up Tommy Bahama items. I find that people are searching for um, this brand, so I will definitely pick it up. And um, I feel as though the other resellers um, are not really focused on Tommy Bahama. Uh, so it's easier for me to pick up. So, anyways, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are all doing well and, you know, enjoying this time of year, getting ready for the holidays. Um, I, I guess, yeah, I'm kind of starting to get ready for the holidays now too. Um, I, I did find this um, sweater at the bins this past weekend. <laughs> And it's kind of like a Christmas type sweater. So um, I don't know what these things are. If they're like like red and uh, beige snowmen, <laughs> but <laughs> they almost look like um, space invaders. So I don't know, but the 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 style of it kind of reminded me of a holiday sweater. So anyways, it's very very soft, which is something that I love. Um, this especially this time of year so yeah I let's see I actually mentioned I think in the last haul video that I wasn't focusing on you know trying to find Christmas presents for my family at the bins this year um, but I actually this past weekend I was looking I found some items that I thought would be nice for, you know, my daughters. So I went ahead and picked them up. So. You know, I like to sort of, I wasn't going to focus on it um, because, you know, I didn't want to focus on size, um, but it just so happened I found some items. So I went ahead and picked them up. And to me, it's fun because if they don't, like the items they can just give it back to me and I can um, you know try to sell it or you know whatever um, okay so the next item let's see is oh yeah is this mountain hardware um, I don't know what these call outdoor pants they're in really great condition actually they seem like they're brand new right here let's see I have um, this is a title mountain hardware men's hiking pants small 30 by 33 black stretch active wear um, they are stretchy um, in really great condition so um, these where did they go these took uh, about a week to sell, and um, I received a an offer from a buyer uh, for twelve dollars, and I went ahead and accepted it. Um, you know, since I wasn't getting a lot of um, 
I don't know, activity on this item, I thought, you know, I, I don't want to like store this item for long. So I went ahead and accepted. And another thing that happens too is I will accept offers even if they're pretty low first thing in the morning <laughs> a lot of times so if I get an offer you know at, at night like late at night or early in the morning there's a tendency for me to go ahead and just accept that offer because I want to get the sales going I want to get sort of the eBay algorithm like cooking so I don't know that's what I I'll tend to do oftentimes Yeah, I don't know how um, popular Mountain Hardware, the brand, is. Um, I feel like it's a little bit lesser known brand. Um, so that's one reason why, you know, another reason why I'd like to just kind of accept offers and, and move on. Um, but I do think that the buyer is going to get like a great item. So, you know, happy about that. Let's see. So, it does weigh over a pound. And it does fit in this flat rate cardboard envelope. And this is like the one of the more ex inexpensive um, ways to ship an item that's over a pound. So just gonna go ahead and ship it in this. Phew. All right, there and then Yes. So I noticed that a lot of um, of the uh, YouTube videos, um, YouTubers are kind of setting their goals for 2023, and you know, which is a good thing to think about. Um, what are my goals? I oh no, shoot. I think what I have to do is do this. My goals. I think for now, I'm not really thinking about um, listing a lot more. I, I think what I want to do is Try to keep it to about seven items per day. Keep working on, you know, keeping the drafts, the draft bank up. And um, kind of continuing what I'm doing right now. Um, because I feel like what I'm doing right now is, is working okay. And, you know, revisiting that in, you know, maybe um, half a year, you know, in the middle of the year and seeing, you know, if I need to do other things. Okay, so anyways, um, next item that sold was actually, it's a lot of four Brooks Brothers ties, silk ties. Um, I'm not gonna take it out of the bag, but there's four of them in here. And I think it was a viewer, and I don't remember who it was, but they mentioned that they like to um, like lot, lot up um, ties oftentimes. And so 
I decided to go ahead and try that with you know these four ties. Um, the title for this one was Lot of Four Brooks Brothers Makers Silk Tie Men's Three and a Half Inch Width Neckties. And this one actually took about a month to sell. Um, let's see, uh, I listed it for $44 and it sold for $44. So this was a really, you know, a great sale. Um, it was actually a promoted listing and then they also used my um, public coupon for 20% off. So, you know, this was a, a really, a really great sale. And let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and okay. Oops, oops. Okay, next is take this out now. Oh yeah. So here is these really great jeans that I found. Uh, they are free people jeans. They have a button fly. Um, they are bootleg or boot cut. And then they also have this slit on both sides on the hem. Um, anyway, some really nice details on these jeans. Let's see. These jeans uh, are titled Free People Women's Emmy split hem boot cut jeans size 29 medium wash distressed and they sold in it took two days to sell um, and they sold for $28 so this was I believe this was an offer from a buyer and I went ahead and accepted it so Let's see this one. I think I gotta do this way. Yeah, that'll work. I'm gonna grab a plastic bag. So one of the things that I've been, uh, I don't know, thinking about or um, wondering about is if I'm going to need to change um, my whole like way that I ship and store my items, my inventory system. I'm wondering if I'm going to need to eventually change into more like um, the daily refinement inventory system, which I, you know, haven't really wanted to do um, because it's so much different than, you know, these bins. Um, but if my amount of sales keeps increasing, I might need to to do that just because um, it's so much uh, faster to ship and it's very easy to find your items you know um, because it's uh, in numerical order um, so anyways those are things that I'm you know wondering about and so I think if my sales do increase um, I'm gonna need to kind of really think about you know making that switch um, so we'll see for now I'm able to you know um, manage I'm managing you know fine actually but if it does get you know um, I don't know, harder to handle and then I gotta think about, you know, making the change. So, we'll see. Um, so then, yeah. If that happens, I think my whole sold to shipped videos would change too. And, um, you know, because I won't be packaging. Um, they will be pre-packaged already, sort of pre-packaged and sealed, sealed um, right after I list.
So that's one thing. Fisher open cardigan with a hood, hooded um, in sort of this boucle knit texture. Um, super, just it has a really great texture um, and it's uh, wool and nylon. It's basically 90% wool and 10% nylon, so mainly wool. Really nice item. And let's see, I'm just going to fold this up. It is quite substantial. Not, not very heavy. But kind of a little bit on the fluffy side, which is, which is nice. Let's see. gonna go in oh okay so wait let me think about this for a minute I think rather than putting in here well maybe I can do it okay, let me see. I like to pick up Eileen Fisher. I think most, um, you know, resellers that I follow, um, their channels will pick up Eileen Fisher. So I think it's um, a really great brand. This is Eileen Fisher Women's Wool Blend Long Cardigan Sweater Medium Black Hooded Boucle. And it took a day to sell. So this one, um, I listed it for $48 and it sold for $43. And I believe that was an offer from the buyer. So I went ahead and accepted. Um, it was a promoted listing sale. So eBay, um, you know, shared this item as a promoted listing. The buyer saw it and then went ahead and gave, you know, sent me an offer, and I went ahead and accepted. So, um, really great sale. <laughs> okay, before I start with the Poshmark sales, I wanted to just take a little bit of time to thank all the subscribers and the people who like the videos. Thank you all so, so much. I really appreciate you all. And then also, um, just wanted to go over some of the comments that um, 
were sent over on the last soul to ship video which was number 47 and so hi Julie thank you so much for your comment yeah oh you're welcome uh, Julie says thank you as always I love your videos Julie thank you so much I really really appreciate this awesome comment it's so motivating and inspiring and you know I love hearing from you so anyways hope you're doing well take care hi Jen also known as material girl uh, yeah so Jen writes hi of course I watch till the end <laughs> thank you Jen that's really good to hear um, I love to see what you pick up and what sells for you so fast you have so many fast flips it is so great oh thank you I hope you stay on Poshmark because that is my main platform as well yeah I you know um, I kind of mentioned I think during that last video was that you know if any you know if I start to consistently not sell on a platform that I would really consider you know dropping it and you know either focus on the one that I'm doing well you know or add another one um, but you know as of you know this moment uh, Poshmark seems to be I seem to be doing um, okay with it um, it's different than eBay um, eBay tends to be a little bit more uh, predictable, you know, as, but, but Poshmark, I, I just don't know what to expect with it. Um, it's, it's always kind of a surprise. You know, some days I don't do very well and it's really quiet and other days I, you know, I, I sell a lot. So, <coughs> um, it's hard to say. Um, but yeah, so I don't, you know, as of today, I'm, you know, very happy with Poshmark and, you know, want to continue with it and um, one thing that I've been doing and you know I do watch uh, Kaylee Elaine um, she is this really awesome uh, reseller and she has a YouTube channel um, and I'll link one of her uh, videos below but um, she was mentioning that she uses um, Poshmark's uh, closet clear out days and um, so what she'll do is periodically um, she'll use a closet clear out day to um, make you know drop her prices and make sales that way and I've been doing that for a couple of months now maybe maybe about three months or so and I've noticed that I'm able to you know sell some of my older items in that way as well so um, you know that's been one of the reasons why I think I've been making um, sales on Poshmark and they tend to be like lower priced sales and it's funny because uh, traditionally on Poshmark I used to make higher priced sales and um, tended to sell like my higher I don't know ASP items you know um, but it's kind of been shifting and I don't know if it's because of the closet clear out or if it's also um, <laughs> my um, my cat is not allowed in here <laughs> she wants to come in I can hear her meowing um, also you know with the posh live sales uh, shows and things like that I don't know if that's making you know I don't know the prices on Poshmark like lower I'm not sure but anyways um so yeah so that's you know as of now I'm gonna continue with Poshmark uh, definitely so Jen also said I loved all the coats you picked up plus the Morona one was a very good idea it was very cute yeah <laughs> people shop at Target and are familiar with their size and what they like yeah that's really true Jen um I was surprised that it it sold so quickly so um, but yeah that's a really good point that you bring up um, that people are familiar with Target and um, you know for the most part I think um, Target's the quality is pretty good on you know most of their items so and that piece was a leather uh, coat so you know went ahead and I didn't want to pass that one up uh, let's see 
always a pleasure always a pleasure to watch you oh thank you Jen thank you so much Jen I really appreciate this comment and I appreciate you hope you're doing well hi craft zebra thank you so much for your comment uh, so craft zebra says this is my favorite type of video to watch oh wow yeah that's great uh, thank you for sharing with us what is currently selling for you yeah you're you're so welcome thank you so much for watching and um, also you know sending me this awesome comment I really really appreciate you hi Brenda how are you doing so good to hear from you uh, Brenda says hi Dana you know I don't know how the dry cleaning works but I saw once that it is actually not like a dry cleaning because it's washed in a washing machine with special detergent I suppose and washed so not sure what the dry <laughs> part of dry cleaning is laugh out loud yeah that's a really great point and you know Brenda I never thought to really research uh, what the heck dry cleaning actually is so um, this is really a great comment and something you know that I really appreciate that you you brought up um, let's see I usually wing it too if it's dirty also has anyone else felt that sales have slightly gone down since Poshmark started doing live sales yeah so yeah thank you so much Brenda you brought up you know a couple of uh, great points um, so you know I think in that last uh, sold to shipped I talked about I think there was a question on how I liked or what I did to process my items and you know whether I you know washed everything or steamed them or did nothing and so I think that's what Brenda's mentioning here um, and you know I do a combination of sort of all those different things just depending on the item itself um, and so let's see also um, as far as the posh mark uh, live sales um, like I mentioned a little while ago um, I do notice that sort of like the ASP for Poshmark sales have gone down for me and that's primarily because you know I'm in order to make sales I'm using um, I keep discounting my items so that they are you know um, discounted lower and lower especially using the closet clear out method and um, so the items on Poshmark tend to be a little bit lower um, sales price um, but the, the good news is is that I'm able to flush out some of my older inventory which is really you know great for me and uh, so I I have a feeling it's probably a combination of things you know um, I wonder if you know now that there is live sales and there is a tendency to have some lower price sales that um, just sort of the the ASP for Poshmark is is just tending to be a little bit lower because of that um, also you know I, I do think the economy kind of falls into this as well and maybe even this time of year you know um, with people you know trying to spend their money on gifts and things maybe um, you know focusing on that so um, but yeah so perhaps uh, live sales you know is contributing to maybe a little bit lower um, slightly um, slower sales and I don't know you know um, if you guys are affected as well so you know would love to hear from from everybody else too so Brenda thank you so much for this awesome comment I really really appreciate you and hope you're doing well okay yeah thank you so much um, everyone for your awesome comments I love reading them so I'm gonna go ahead and go through Poshmark sales now let's see so let me just bring up my spreadsheet again 
Okay. So, okay, so first item um, is this really awesome um, cashmere sweater, and it's, the brand is called Aqua Cashmere. It has this really great, um, I don't know, like a, it's like a modern cable knit pattern. It's also a hoodie, so it has a hood, um, more of a boxy, relaxed fit, and in this really pretty light gray color. So soft, soft, warm, lightweight cashmere sweater, and I love finding cashmere um, when I'm at the, the Goodwill bins. And the trick is always, you know, to find uh, cashmere that's in good condition. So I, for whatever reason, there tends to be a lot of cashmere at my bins. Maybe that makes sense because, you know, the area that I live in um, has sort of a cold weather, but it's kind of mild to medium cold weather. And so, you know, I imagine a lot of people are donating their, um, their lighter weight sweaters. Um, I probably have to throw back um, like 50% of the cashmere that I find, you know, because of holes. And so you know, that's something that I have to really be, uh, pay attention to. So. But yeah, um, this particular, I think, let's see. Actually, uh, let me just go ahead and read you the title. Title is Aqua women's 100% cashmere sweater, small S, gray hooded boxy fit, soft cable knit. And it took one day to sell. So it sold for $30. So this is a great sale. Um, sold on Poshmark. Let's see. And I, found last weekend I found um, I don't know was it like four uh, aqua cashmere sweaters must have been donated by the same person because they were all size small extra small and I when I went ahead and researched um, what the uh, sell through rate was um, it had a pretty good um, sell-through rate as well as a pretty high uh, cost, or no, a high sales amount. So uh, those are pretty good pickups. Okay, next I actually have this little dog sweater and it says spoiled um, in the front. And I have been picking up any kind of dog sweaters that I find for you know my dog Sven and this one was a little bit too big for him so you know went ahead and washed it did a little sweater shaving and went ahead and listed it and it sold um, let's see it sold for eight dollars so you know it's actually yeah, it was kind of almost a wash because it also had uh, discounted shipping as well. Um, but this one, since it didn't fit Sven, you know, I'm happy to move it. And I probably made about 25 cents on this sale. And um, the title, it was Spoiled Dog Sweater Medium M Gray and Black Funny Saying Novelty Soft and Warm. So... Uh, just happy that it it's moving and hopefully <clears throat> the buyer loves this sweater 
so. Nice to be able to sell items, you know, rather than re-donating. So, and this one sold really quickly, so that's good. I think it sold in like a, I think it's, how long did it take? Um, yeah, it took like maybe a week to sell, so that's not too bad. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use a, a spend sticker. <laughs> of you guys um, know if there's anyone new um, I created these um, stickers uh, and uh, so I designed these little stickers and then I went ahead and print them off in um, off my uh, Dymo 4XL um, label printer I just ordered like these special sized um, labels the smaller size labels and so I just run a whole bunch off and then I'm able to just create these custom stickers thank you stickers so that, that was actually um, something um, that was really actually uh, sort of a good a good thing that I did <laughs> it saves me a lot of time and it also you know it's a personalized thank you and it's also kind of um, I don't know it creates branding you know of my uh, store and closet okay so next item is this purse and it's uh, Sonja Roberts genuine leather crossbody black and tan handbag it took a long time to sell. So basically it took, wow, oh, oh, not that, not that long. It took about half of, uh, like six months to sell. And it sold for $22. So, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a good sale. Um, it has a crossbody. I went ahead and just, um, you know, here's the strap here. I'm gonna just, tuck it in like this uh, just for shipping purposes so I I actually really like selling purses but um, at my bins um, we don't have uh, purses and shoes really available to us um, once in a while, there'll be, you know, some shoes or purse kind of just scattered in a clothes bin. Um, but it's not like we'll have, um, you know, any of the big blue bins dedicated to, you know, purses or shoes. So it's um, not something that I pick up very often. I am trying to also kind of stay away from uh, picking up purses and shoes unless, you know, I think that they're going to, you know, sell for a, a good amount. Um, just trying to kind of simplify things for myself. Okay, so... Yeah, and to keep it... From kind of rattling around, I'm going to go ahead and add a piece of paper. Um, yeah. Okay. There it is. <clears throat> okay. Next we have. 
gray sweater. Um, this one is by the brand Vince, uh, and it's not full cashmere. I think it's a, a wool blend. I think it's wool and cashmere blend. Um, really nice sweater. It has this mock neck, um, another, you know, sort of cable knit detail. It has more of a, a boxy, uh, relaxed fit. Very, very pretty sweater. And let's see, so this uh, title is called uh, Vince Women's Cashmere Wool Blend Sweater um, XS, so that's extra small, uh, gray cable knit mock neck chunky. So this one, let's see, it took a day to sell and it sold for $30. So this was a great sale. Very happy with this sale. Um, really nice sweater. I really like this sweater a lot. Let's see. Um, yeah, this was a very nice pickup. I think I might have picked this up the same day as all the uh, aqua cashmere sweaters. So, you know, it could have been by the same uh, person, donated by the same person. Um, not really sure, but it's it's funny. There's usually when I source at the bins, there'll be like a wave of, you know, either um, sort of a, a, a type of item or a brand. I'll get like a bunch of them that day. Uh, you know, it might even be like uh, Tommy Bahama silk shirts. And you know, it could be because a certain person is donating a certain type of item, you know. Uh, and so this last weekend, it just happened to be, um, you know, these really great sweaters. So, you know, all about the same size, all about the same kind of, um, cut or style. So... with uh, sourcing at the bins, it's, you know, you get what you get that day, you know, and you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> uh, which is which is exciting, which can be exciting and could also be kind of frustrating as well. <laughs> but, you know, for me, actually, it's, it's exciting. Um, I enjoy sort of the surprise sort of aspect of shopping at the bins. Um, it's also a little bit of treasure hunting, you know. Okay, so, all right, next item is another sweater. This one is Urban Outfitter sweater, and let's see. Title is Urban Outfitters Gemini Cocoon Turtleneck Sweater Women's Small S Cream Oversized, and it's just this really cute sweater. Um, has this turtleneck and these great sort of balloon sleeves. Um, so I went ahead and I don't pick up a lot of uh, Urban Outfitters, but I decided to go ahead and kind of experiment with this item just because the style was 
I thought this style was really a fun style. Um, it was also a pretty recent item too. I think it was, I don't know if it was still on the Urban Outfitters website, but I was able to find, you know, stock fo photograph and um, the product name and things. So, but it did actually take a while to sell. And, you know, part of the thing is, is I think it's, it's basically acrylic or acrylic blend sweater. So to me, the, um, the materials weren't, you know, something, um, desirable to me. You know, I'd much rather pick up sweaters that have, you know, some wool content to it or, you know, even co even a cotton sweater is desirable to me. Um, but I thought I'd give this sweater a go and, you know, see how it does. Because I feel like, you know, Urban Outfitters is still a pretty popular uh, brand. So I thought maybe... Oh, and then the other thing I noticed was, um, you know, when I went window shopping, uh, I was really kind of amazed at how expensive Urban Outfitters retail prices were. So I thought, you know, let me go ahead and try this sweater out and see how it goes. I think when I listed the sweater, I listed it pretty high and it sat and sat. So let's see. Yeah, it took, well, actually, it took 19 days to sell. So it wasn't like a, you know, automatic fast seller. But I had it listed, I think, for $24. And it sat. And then finally, I did a drastic cut. I cut it down to $14. And it sold, um, I think, the next day. So uh, I was happy to move it. It is a rather bulky, big sweater, so it was taking up a lot of space in my inventory. And I was getting a lot of likes, a lot of likes. I also listed this one on Depop because I thought maybe Depop, this one might do well. Again, lots of likes on Depop, but it wasn't moving. So to me, that tells me that it's priced too high. <laughs> So, went ahead and lowered the price, I believe on Closet Clear Out Day, and it sold. So, you know, happy that it sold. Okay, there. Let's see. Okay. Here is the next item, which is a Bowden dress. Let's see if I can find it. Really a uh, very pretty floral dress. Kind of has a retro style to me. It feels very 1940s. Um, this is a midi length dress. Really, really cute. Lovely pattern. And this sort of mocha brown color with um, pink flowers, pink and tan flowers and sort of this um, kind of, I don't know, like a blue-green leaves. So very co pretty color palette on this dress. This is another um, example of, you know, what you get at the bins. Um, because this, on this day, I found like four Bowdoin dresses. Um, and some of them were actually vintage. Um, this one I don't think is vintage. Although it, it I don't know, maybe it, it could be. Um, it's made in Morocco. But anyways, um, this dress, let's see if I can find it. The title is Bowdoin Floral Midi Dress Women's 14R 
Retro Ruffle Pink and Mocha. It took a long time to sell. Um, I would say five months to sell and it sold for $36. So even though it took, you know, a while, um, it was still, I think, a pretty good sale. So it just took a while to find the right buyer. <laughs> dress as well as the next item I believe were closet clear out um, sales so you know the sale was made after I lowered the price and on closet clear out day on in Poshmark and uh, I have Posher VA and so I use Posher VA to do a, sort of a bulk closet clear out discount and I discounted 10% uh, um, for items that are over 120 days old so anyway so the next item um, that's going out are these Levi's jeans they're these gray jeans I've had these for um, quite a while let's see they are titled um, Levi's high-rise skinny jeans gray size 27 Ooh, I had these ooh, maybe about 10 months or so and they sold for nine dollars so yeah this is um, sold for nine dollars I'm pretty sure the price of these were lowered and lowered till it was you know pretty low and perhaps I can't remember if it was finally, you know, got to the $9 point or if somebody offered me $9 for them and I just was so happy to, you know, have them move on to the next person. Can't remember how it was sold, but anyways, I'm happy that these, you know, are finally sold and hopefully that the buyer really loves these jeans. So. weekend I noticed that I did sell a few pairs of jeans so you know that's really great but I don't know I you know I source a variety of different items um, not just you know one or two categories uh, I think it's a really great strategy to focus on you know just maybe one or two categories However, for me, I'm kind of, I guess, I don't know, an opportunist, and I just pick up things that I find at the bins. And so that's kind of a, a variety of things. Um, yeah, so. So I'm kind of all over the place. <laughs> Okay, here's another pair of jeans that sold, and these are another pair of Levi's. These are the uh, 505 women's uh, jeans, and these are 505s are a straight leg, and they are instead of a button fly, they're zip fly. Let's see, this is. Um, where is it? Levi's. Levi's 505 jeans, women's size 8, straight leg medium wash, 
10 inch rise and it took hmm, I think about five months to sell so they sold for $22 and you know to me oh wait yeah $22 so to me that's you know a, a really actually it's a good sale for jeans do this and I've noticed that uh, women's Levi's jeans tend to sell pretty well for me so that's something that you know I, I don't know for, for whatever reason you know we have a lot of vintage pickers at my bins and you know they will definitely swoop up all the vintage Levi's tends to be you know men's vintage Levi's and you know the moderns are left over the um, women's Levi's tend to be left over so you know that's something that I'll go ahead and pick up mention um, you know anybody's new I learned how to ship by watching uh, McGriffsy's videos on um, YouTube and I'll go ahead and link one of her videos below okay okay next item is this Madewell sweater and I've had this sweater for quite a while. It's um, made out of Madewell's coziest yarn. So it's this, I don't know, it's their special blend of different materials and it just comes out so soft and stretchy and plush. Um, really great fabric or knit. Um, really cute style, more of a boxy fit in these, uh, you know big stripes the color combination is really really nice and let's see if I can find it this is made well Ooh. I think this is it made well Crofton striped pullover sweater women's extra extra small coziest yarn and this one I actually what I've been doing is Oh wait, no, this isn't it. Okay, so this is probably about four months old and it sold for $14. So I think it was part of Closet Clear Out. Yeah, it was. So happy that this is moving. I think this is a nice sweater. Um, I'm always happy when I find Madewell items at the bins and you know happy to find Madewell and free people um, even though you know Madewell it has not been something that sells for a lot and it also takes a little while to sell I don't know I just I still like to pick it up so <laughs> kind of a I guess there's a place in my heart for me well, so. Okay. Okay, let's see. I've been adding these priority stickers to um, when I use a Tyvek envelope because I noticed that I got, I had gotten a, a batch of the this Tyvek envelope that the um, adhesive on the strap was not very strong. 
So I've, I've been just, you know, adding this priority sticker just to make sure that it sticks. Okay, this one. Yeah. Okay, so now we have... Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is another one that I think was a closet clear-out sale. And this is a leather jacket by BB. And it has this really fun asymmetrical hemline right here. Um, super cute little jacket. It's the leather is very, very soft. And I think it's probably like lambskin. Um, it has also this sort of uh, knit material on the arms and on the underarms. So, you know, this makes this jacket very wearable. Um, I think it's probably like from the 90s. It has that kind of 90s vibe to it. Let's see. Um, where is it? Oh, okay, so the title is Vintage BB Leather Jacket Women's Medium M Black Asymmetrical Hem Y2K. So I... Let's see. I listed this back in August and it sold. So it did take, what is it? How many months is that? Four months to sell. And it sold for $20. So it was part of Closet Clear Out. And I think what happened was a, the buyer also sent me an offer. And so I was actually very happy you know to move this item um i thought this would sell faster actually because i just i just think it's a really beautiful item um but maybe you know people weren't searching for it or maybe my photograph wasn't you know doing it justice <laughs> which is which could totally be true because it is hard for me to um photograph uh, black items so you know it could be something like that but anyways this item is I think it's a really nice jacket and hopefully the buyer loves this jacket yeah, that should do it Happy to pick up um, leather at the bins, and for whatever reason, just like cashmere, there tends to be quite a few um, leather items at the bins, both men's and women's, both modern and vintage. And you know, just like cashmere, I have to really look at the um, condition as well so I'm gonna go ahead and also add another piece of paper ship out is oh another Levi's jeans yeah so there's quite a few uh, jeans that I sold this weekend and these uh, are perfectly slimming boot cut jeans Levi's 512s women's in a size 18 medium in a very nice black wash finish um, these jeans are like in great condition so very happy that I picked these up 18 medium is a really great size and um, 
really nice pair of jeans. So happy that these sold and hopefully the buyer really loves these jeans. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Let's see, what is the title? This one is Levi's 512 Perfectly Slimming Bootcut Women's Jeans 18 Black Vintage Stretch. And, oh, are they vintage? Interesting. Um, they took about two months to sell and they sold for $15. So that is um, a really good sale. I don't think these are vintage. I think it's sort of the style. Oh, it could be even you know it actually could be vintage actually um but anyways i think this is a really great pair of pants and this is um a really a good price for the buyer so happy that this is moving along and let's see so yeah so um i think what is it sunday is christmas i'm gonna be really focusing i think on you know getting ready for christmas and everything so i'm not going to be doing a haul video this week um just to you know get ready for the holidays um and um, you know focus on these this last push of sales um for this year um and hopefully you know raring to go for the new year <laughs> with um you know my reselling business you know and, and hopefully with youtube videos so you know, looking forward to the upcoming year, you know, looking forward to um, having a great 2023. So anyways, okay, so that's it for this video. And, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe and, you know, hit the like button and um, leave me some comments. I would love to hear what's sold for you lately. Okay, until the next one, take care. Okay, oh, and happy holidays, everyone. Thank you, bye-bye.